I hope you like that little Motown groove. Today I'm going to teach you another bass line, and this one's a complete song. It's only got two phrases, though. It's uh, from our uh, What Makes Motown Bass Motown book, and this is from chapter number five. It's titled uh, Bass Lines. The book is laid out to where there's some rhythmic uh, work, some melodic phrases to work on, little uh, cells, and then the combinations of them, and then we make bass lines, and then there's some transcriptions. And in this bass line section, these are just ones that I wrote, and I think I'd like to read you a little paragraph from this, just so you'll understand what you know my thinking and what it's all about. Quote, As I wrote these bass lines, I was not attempting to copy Jameson directly. However, at the same time, I was not attempting to not sound like Jamerson. Because of my 1960s and 70s musical upbringing, I cannot help hearing Jamerson sounding lines in all songs. <laughs> so uh, this is a Motown example. Uh, it's a, what is song number 31. It's the first one. There's 12 in this chapter. And as you see, I gave you an example of how it sounds there. And I'll do that again later on with a little play along so you can work with me. But right now, I thought I'd just teach it to you. It's a real simple lick. Watch this. That's the basic phrase. Do it with me. Sometimes I change the articulation based on the tempo and how it feels. That was with a short note up front. Here's not a short note. It doesn't matter right now. Just learn the line. You'll get the feel and how to articulate. Let's do that a few times. Yeah, it's a real simple one. So here's the first four bars. Listen to this. Three and four and. Repeat those two for the first four bars. Good. Next four bars is identical. Here it is again. Three, four. Good. Now that's a total of eight bars. And as I said, it's real simple. You can hear that. Just a two-bar phrase four times. Then we come to the little bridge section. Here it is. Good. That's the phrase. Let's do it again. Cool. I might point out, notice the fingering I'm using. There's a number of different ways you could finger this. You could do... Oh, sorry. But I'm doing it all within this little sort of pentatonic box stuff here. Makes it pretty easy. So here's that bridge phrase again. Again. Second half of that bridge, same phrase, down a whole step. song ends with back to the original phrase you can describe the bass line the form of the song of the bass line not the song as a little a a b a let's do it real slow motion play along with me and then we'll get back to that play along track ready two Three. By the way, if you screw up, it's all right. Just rewind the little sucker and start again. Do it over and over and over. The repetition is the only thing that's going to make it a really stick. You don't have to write it down. Of course, you can, if you've got the book, great. You can learn it from reading it. But it's it's simple enough that you can learn it with your ears, too. Here we go. Two, three, four. Second phrase. Here comes that bridge section. Down a whole step. Last phrase. Cool. 
What a strong and powerful uh, bass line, which is two little phrases, but just the groove and the actual pitches and the way it lays on the bass just feels like Jameson to me. Fired up. Let's go to that little play along now. I'll play it through a few times and you can just get the feel of it and play along with me, okay? <laughs> 